Welcome back to a new machine learning tutorial. In this video, we are going to talk about random forest regression. We are going to talk about the logic behind the algorithm. We are going to code it using Python scikit-learn. We are going to talk about the model's parameters, and then we are going to do hyperparameter tuning. Let's start coding. I'm in VS Code interface right now. You can use any code editor that you want. It's completely up to you. And I will close the welcome page. Then I'm going to create something like random forest regressor dot ipymb and we are going to work on a Jupyter notebook then I'm going to select my kernel and type random forest regressor now we can talk about the concept so random forest regressor is an ensemble machine learning algorithm that combines the predictions of multiple decision trees to make a more accurate and robust prediction each decision tree is trained on a random subset of the data and the final prediction is typically the average of the predictions made by each individual tree, reducing, overfitting, and improving generalization. So, in the math side, decision trees are the foundation of the random forest. A decision tree is a model that splits the data into smaller and smaller subsets based on a certain condition. Each internal node represents a question about the data each branch represents the outcome of that question and each leaf node represents the final prediction and random forest works by let me type that so we are going to create multiple decision trees from different random subsets of the data and then each tree is trained on a different random subset of the training data using bagging we can also refer to it as bootstrap aggregating and in the final step we will be making the predictions by averaging the predictions of all trees so this these are going to be our steps in the random forest and mathematically we can type the formula as y prediction is going to be equal to divided by m multiplied by I'm going to type like this because I don't want it to be too confusing and I will say aj and I will say multiplied by x like this so actually we can type it like this and let's talk about it right now so let's say that we have the d and amount of data sets and from the data set d we create m subsets like in the formula you can see it in here by randomly sampling with replacement and for each subset let's we can call it like d j and it's going to have its own decision tree like this t j in here using a random subset of features at each split and for a new input x random forest makes the prediction output y prediction in here so this is going to be our formula we are going to give the x in here and we are going to have the y prediction at the end okay so we can start coding right now what we are going to do in the first place is we are going to import the libraries that we are going to use we will say from scikit-learn that dataset import make regression for creating our data we will say from scikit-learn model selection import train test split from scikit-learn that ensemble import the topic of our video random force regression from scikit-learn.matrix import mean squared error with r squared score and at the final step I'm going to import numpy as mp so our imports are ready in the next step I will say x and y make regression number of samples are going to be 1000 number of features are going to be 10 and let's add a noise like 0.2 and let me quickly show you the values we have here is our x matrix with 10 features and here is our y vector so we have these values as our data now we will use train test split because we are going to train our model with the training set and we are going to evaluate its performance with the test set we have so x train x test y train and y test and we will say train test split we will pass x y and let's set the test size as 0.2 which is going to 
lead to the 800 data points is, are going to be in the training set we have on the tr X train and Y train and 200, the 20% is going to be in the testing set. So I have a tutorial on this train test split, but I can quickly explain like we are going to train our model with the X train and Y train is the labels. Then we are going to make predictions with X test and we are going to compare our predictions with the Y test. So now we are going to train our model like random forest is going to be a random forest regressor and this is going to be the base model we have parameters on the random forest regressor and we are going to talk about them and how we can tune them in upcoming minutes and basically we have parameters for most of the machine learning algorithms and we can optimize the machine learning model's performance by tuning them which means we take the best performing parameters like they are going to be performing better in general terms combined so we are going to have better predictions or any model functionality like feature importance so now what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to train this base model like no parameter updates x train with y train and then i'm going to make predictions using it predict x test so here is our prediction vector and I'm going to save it to something like Y predictions. And now I'm going to compare its performance with the actual Y values we have. So how we are going to do that is, firstly, let's set the mean squared error, Y test with Y prediction, and let's set the R squared like R squared score, Y test and Y prediction. So let's see what we are going to have in this course. So let's firstly check mean squared error. We have this value and in the R squared side, we have this value. So this is a pretty good R squared value. It means that our model explains the variance in the data by 76% and you can evaluate this value like you can call numpy.mean on the Y and you can see this is the mean and standard deviation and this is the standard deviation. It's completely depends on your case. So. I'm not going to evaluate this value in here, but this is not the topic of our video, but you can evaluate this value like using the aggregation functions on Y and just taking a look at your case. So it's, it depends on the problem you are solving. Now let's talk about the parameters random first model can take. So I'm going to create a markdown object and we are going to start by number of estimators and it's the number of the trees in the forest. More trees generally improve performance, but also increase the computational cost. And we have max depth, the maximum depth of each tree. Deeper trees can model more complex relationships, but may overfit. Minimum sample split. So this is the minimum number of samples required to split an internal node. Increasing this volume makes the model more conservative. Next up, we have minimum samples leaf and this is the minimum number of samples required to be at a leaf node high values prevent the model from learning overly specific patterns and we have maximum features and this is the number of features to consider when looking for the best split reducing this value can help reduce overfitting also we are going to be having the bootstrap parameter it means whether to use bootstrap samples, which means sampling with replacement when building trees, but we are not going to have that in this parameter tuning process. So we are going to do hyperparameter tuning using grid search cross validation to find the optimal combinations of hyperparameters. Basically, it tries out all of the parameter combinations and returns the best performing one. So we will say from scikit-learn, model selection, import grid search cross validation. Then we will say we are going to define the parameter grid like parameter grid is going to be, let's say number of estimators. And I'm going to be giving not a lot of values in here because I want to work fast, but you can extend this list. Maybe because of we are not giving a lot of values, the base model we created can outperform the parameter searched version because maybe the base parameters are better than this. For example, we have the 700 in the base parameter and we don't have this in that. 
and maybe the 700 can perform better than these four but you can extend this list for getting a better performance like I'm going to define the max step 2 and I'm going to give it values like none, 10, 20 and I'm not going to extend it more so let's say that you train your model and you looked for the best performing parameters and you saw at the max step side you have 20 then you can extend this list in this side like you can add 17, 22, 24 and extend the list in this way so this is a way to improve the performance and I will say minimum sample split and I will give the values like 4, 2, 5, 10 it's going to be more than enough for now minimum sample split we did the split in the previous one we will say 1, 2, 4 and I will say maximum features and I will use auto square root and mod 2 and now we have our parameter grid now we are going to set the grid search like grid search is going to be grid search cross validation estimator is going to be the random forest and parameter grid is going to be the parameter grid also we can do like random forest regression initialization in here and now we have our grid search set up now it's time for training it like grid search that fit x train with y train so let's see our results when this finishes i'm going to be re-recording i'm not going to make the video continue until this finishes so it's finished in 4 minutes and 23 seconds and now i'm going to print the best parameters selected like best parameters and actually I need one more underscore at the end and our max step is 20 so we can increase this number in the 20 side our maximum features is this minimum sample leaf is this minimum sample split is 2 this and number of estimators is 500 so again if you want to try to improve the performance you can extend this list in this way like you can use 600 700 by the way that's not guaranteed that maybe 150 will perform better but you can try your chance like this so we have this best parameters right now now let's evaluate the best estimator so best estimator is the model that has these parameters on so i will say best random forest is going to be grid search that best estimator and now we can use model things like we can use feature importances we can use predict and we are going to use the predict for getting the mean squared error we have a vector like this and now I will say y prediction and let's say best so we are going to have them stored in the y prediction best and now what I'm going to do is I will say mean squared error is going to be mean squared error i will say y test with the y predictions best values we have and here it is so it's 5171 let's compare it with the previous value we have a lower value which is a thing that we want in the mean squared error that's great we improve the performance by the way we want mean squared error to be lower r squared to be higher and now let's check the r squared so it was 0.76 R squared score and I will pass the Y test with the Y predictions best in here so let's see R squared best it's 0.77 so we improved the performance in this side too so this is how we can do hyperparameter tuning and we have our model tuned right now so let's summarize concept then I'm going to be summarizing the codes that we wrote step by step and then finish this tutorial so in this tutorial we learned how to implement a random forest regressor from scratch in Python we started with understanding the basic concept and mathematics behind the model created a base model and then tuned the hyperparameters to optimize performance random forest is a powerful and flexible algorithm especially useful when you have a complex data set and want to avoid overfitting so let's summarize what we did step by step 
So we started by talking about random forest and random forest steps in here. And then we talked about the mathematical formula of it. Then we make our import make regression for the data creation, train test split for the training our model and testing it, random forest regression for the model, mean squared or R squared score for evaluating the model's performance and NumPy. Then we create our data and then I showed you the X matrix and Y vector we have. Then we use train test split with the 0.2 test size, which is going to have us 80% of the data in the training set. Then we initialized a base model, then we fitted it, which means training. Then we make predictions and stored them in Y prediction. And we evaluated our model with the matrix mean squared error and R squared. Then I talked about the hyperparameters, like parameters the model can take, random force regression. Then we imported cross-validation and the grid search cross-validation is going to help us on the hyperparameter tuning side. Then we defined the grid for the parameters and we set it grid search and we trained our models. It completed in 4 minutes and 23 seconds and we get the best parameters. Here is the list of our best parameters and then we set our best estimator to something like best random forest and we evaluated the performance. And we saw that we improved the base model's performance by hyperparameter tuning. Thanks for watching this tutorial on random forest regression. I'm sharing new data science videos every week on my channel. You can subscribe for more videos like this. I have a playlist named Machine Learning Tutorials where I have more than 40 videos just like this one. You can reach that playlist from the cards of this video or from the description. Have a great day.